So Blink's really simple. It's pretty much uh, a photo sharing app. And um, you just send a picture to someone um, and you get a photo of the reaction back. Um, so it's quite a simple concept. When we're thinking about how Blink was going to start, we looked at kind of the kind of markets that already exist and we saw um, photo sharing and we saw instant messaging and we wanted to create something that could really bring them together. Um, so a way to kind of communicate uh, through photos. Um, so we played with a few concepts um, and we came up with this one. So um, here we can see different products, uh, different products, excuse me, different photos that have come through uh, from friends. Um, we've got Sebastian from um, Signkick. Maybe do you want to tap on his? Okay, well, this is, uh, I sent Sebastian a picture. Um, excuse the Wi-Fi, and it's been sent back. Anyway, that was his reaction. Um, yeah, um, he's an interesting guy. Um, but anyway, this is a blink he sent me so we can react to this. Oh, that's the Signkick team. Awesome. <laughs> Anyway, that's Alex's reaction. Um, <laughs> yeah. nice, nice effort on that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's gone back to him now. Um, and he's going to receive his reaction. Um, maybe Sally couldn't be here with us tonight. She's oh. one of our developers. She's not very well. But maybe if you turn to the crowd and give her a reaction back for Sally. <laughs> she has a weird sense of humour. <laughs> um, great. Awesome. And that's gone back to Sally. Um, it'll make her feel a bit better. Um, but that's the, that's the app. I mean, there's not really much more share because we have a settings page, which is interesting. You can connect with Twitter and Facebook, blah, 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 standard procedure. Um, <laughs> what the hell? Um, but yeah, um, any questions, I'd love to hear them. Thanks for uh, watching. Shortest demo ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're not getting it. Hi, um, are you going to let people put GIFs on here, or is it just static? Yes. Okay. I'm so glad you asked that. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm really going to get us the, the GIFs out far. So the ability to have three pictures taken instead of one as a reaction put together into an animated GIF would be a lot of fun. Um, we, um, we, recent, uh, we released on the App Store last Thursday, um, and we've had a really good response. Uh, we've just got over 2,000 downloads. Um, and we've been featured on the App Store twice um, on the social networking. So if you go on there now, you can see Blink um, on the social networking. And um, most of the feedback from our, uh, our users has been exactly that, the animated GIF. So, yeah. yeah I see those uh, emoticons on the right side. Oh, do, you, yeah. do you just give a smiley face to all of those, or do you detect facial reactions? <laughs> Um, I think that came out a really late night brainstorming session, <laughs> too much red ball, but yeah. the idea was we were going to have um, smiley faces for a blink and then the reaction was going to be like a shocked face. face. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are. Yeah, I think it's a very interesting idea. I was just wondering, do the pictures then just stay within the app? Um, is there a possibility that there's a website like Instagram where you can share it or if you want to just post the original photo and the reaction to Facebook to your friends? So if you've got yeah. a good present, you've got a reaction you want to post on there? Yeah, we, our next update is going to be have uh, sharing sharing updates. So that's definitely a possibility. So, you know, Twitter to Facebook, but for now they're sort of self-destructing images. But within the next couple of weeks, that'll be a possibility. So yeah, the, the, uh, one of the things that um, I work on personally now is when you share a picture um, on Facebook, it will show all your friends' reactions to the picture mm -hmm. and say, "Would you like to see the original picture?" So you can see all your friends like, oh "My gosh." and then make you want to click on it. Well, that's the idea anyway. With regards to the reaction, I mean, is there a bit of a delay? I mean, how do you yeah. say it? Because, you know, sometimes it might take you a while to work out before you go, oh my God, that's <laughs> what it really is. I'd, I'd love to say that we were scientific with it. So I, I say 2.8 yeah. seconds, which it is. That was completely random. And, and it just seemed to work, so we kind of stuck with it. Um, but it might be interesting to test maybe a shorter delay. Um, but we seem to get good reactions just based on that. Yeah, um, I, I just want to know what's your long-term goal with this. Is it to sort of build it and then mm. sell it to Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook? Yeah, um, I, I think we're really kind of, I think we're really honest about it, or very British about it. Mm. We just say, we just want, like, our business model's acquisition. Like, to be honest, we, we just want to get a good file feedback loop going, get lots of downloads, push the downloads. Um, and, and hope we get that position. I, we're quite honest about that. But um, like sometimes for investors and towards investors, we, we talk about in-app purchases, like the animated GIF thing, we did to get like, an animated GIF reaction. Um, competitions like guess the blink, guess the reactions to the blink, and it's like little things to make that more fun and have value there. But yeah. I mean, I just downloaded it, and you've got a sort of age warning, haven't you? Yeah. It was partly to do with the app store restrictions. 
Um, but they allowed us to tick some boxes in terms of the categories, mm. and we went for every category. So nudity, violence, tobacco, alcohol abuse, all the. And, and the, the, the reason why we, we tried to do that was because most of our market wants to, when they see that, they want to download the app. And that sounds really shameless, mm. but they, they do. Um, and when they see it at 17 plus, most of the people then download it, like 14 year olds and 15 year olds, because they know they can't have it because it's 17 plus, but they'll get it. It's technology, right? So, um, <laughs> and, um, but to, to protect it and to protect young people and individuals, uh, we completely moved away from the Snapchat model, which has done them really, really well. Um, and we looked at a new way of sharing just between people who are on the app, but are also your Facebook friends and your Twitter friends. Um, we felt that was enough of a network for you to have a really good experience within the app, uh, rather than just chasing the virality straight away. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.